and welcome to my new video today we learn about the interpolation interpolation before interpolation we already learned about the finite differences operators like newton forward and newton backward operator forward operator is denoted by this delta sign and backward operator is reverse sign this is forward and this is backward operator i already shows how to calculate this forward and backward operator and uh, we, how to make the table for this forward and backward operator now the interpolation basically what is the interpolation if we have a function y is equal to fx where y is dependent variable x is independent variable means y is depend on the value of x y is function of x so x is independent then it is the process of finding the values of a function for any value of argument any value of independent variable within an interval means we want to find out the value of y or we can say value of fx function at any point of x within the interval so for any value of x with the help of this interpolation table we can easily find out the value of function that is process this process is called interpolation there are many types of interpolation formulas are there we start with basic newton forward difference formula so we start with newton forward and newton backward difference formula so for forward difference formula let if we have a value of function for some interval f of minus 2 minus 1 f0 1 to for the value of function at point x0 minus 2h x0 minus h x0 and 0 plus h x0 plus 2h here one thing is there the interval is fixed the difference between each value of x is h so always these formula are applicable when interval is fixed different interval is not possible to calculate with the newton's forward formula hence we can say function's value at fp is x0 plus ph clear so where p is given by p is the point given by x minus x0 by h and h is the interval which is constant hence we can say our function value fx for any point is given by this is the shifting operator fp f0 see ep f0 ep f0 is same f0 is x0 and ep is um, it shift one value so f0 to f1 so ep is f0 plus ph so now again we learn the relation between the shifting operator e and our newton's forward operator with unit operator so e is 1 plus delta 1 plus newton forward operator whole to the power p i put here fx now i expand 1 plus delta to the power p you already know how to expand 1 plus x to the power anything 1 plus x to the power n if i have 1 plus x to the power n how i expand 1 plus x and n into function then i expand i plus p delta of f0 plus p p minus 1 by factorial 2 delta square f0 plus p p minus 1 p minus 2 upon factorial 3 delta 3 f0 plus p p minus 1 p minus 2 p minus 3 by factorial 4 del 4 f0 like that this formula is called newton forward formula newton difference forward formula now we can find other formula with the help of newton backward operator so same this e and backward operator is related with ep fp is given by i minus backward operator whole to the power p so e is given by unit i minus backward operator is given by shifting operator so that is f0 same we open this then this time because here is a minus so this becomes plus minus one so i plus p backward operator plus p plus 1 by factorial 2 backward operator square f0 p p plus 1 p plus 2 by factorial 3 backward operator of cube 
third order F0 and so on. So this is called Newton's backward difference operator formula. So there are the two operator we have two formula for finding the value of function at any given range of x function. Now I can show you examples on Newton's forward formula after that we go for the Newton's backward formula. One more important thing where we use the forward operator and formula and where we use to finding the value backward operator. So there is the conclusion this forward operator formula are used for interpolating the term near to the beginning entries means if I have a set of number x and y there is 0 1 2 3 4 and y is something 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 if I want to find the value of function at x equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 is comes between here clear and one more value I want to find at x equal to 3.5 clear so 3.5 comes between 3 and 4 so forward difference operator formula we use the values which comes near to the beginning so 0.5 we can see it's near to the beginning so we use to find the function value at x equal to 0.5 we use this formula forward operator formula and the other value is x equal to 3.5 for 3.5 it is the end so for if the value of function we have to find at the near to the end point we use the backward operator formula so for 3.5 we can calculate the function value with this newton difference backward so for beginning entries we use this formula for backward entries we use this formula for central we have central difference formula also and for central you can use any one because it's either near to this point if one point between 1 and 2 1.5 then we can use the forward if between 2 and 3 we can use any formula but for beginning entry we use forward for ending entry we use the backward formula okay now i will show you one ex the examples of newton forward difference formula so with this find the cubic polynomial of given function we have the range of value of function and the points 0 1 2 3 4 5 and the value of function and this is this. we have to calculate the formula for function means we have to calculate fx so for fx same we can use the newton forward operator we have to find the value of f so this is the forward operator table 0 1 2 3 4 y del y del square y del cube y we can see for cubic polynomial del q y is constant same and further all entry is going to be 0 because it is cubic polynomial. So now calculate this minus this, this minus this same down then minus 27 minus 11, 57 minus the 27 and so on. Now for the forward difference formula you always remember we use the forward values. So means you start from here with this arrow minus 3 6 2 and 6 in our formula this value is y0 del y0 <coughs> del square y0 del cube y0 so we can use this the formula for fx is f0 i into f0 x f0 x x minus 1 by factorial because we have to find out the because we have to find out the formula substitute the values whatever we have in the table so my f0 f0 is minus 3 means y0 then del del f0 means del y0 is 6 so 6x then del square f0 is 2 so x square minus x by factorial 2 is 2 into 2 then open this and del 3 f0 is 6 coming here now 6 to 6 what is cancelled simplify it new my function is given for this interval is for this data is given by x cube minus 2x square plus 7x minus 3 so that's why it's very easy 
to calculate. If you have the values, you can construct a table, put in the formula, you can easily calculate the polynomials. If they give cubic, means third term up to third term, the operator you have to use. If they give fourth order, then you have to find out the fourth order, fourth term also there. So there are the four terms are there. One more example I will show you on same Newton forward operator. See to the next example. Find the value of x equal to 9 of the given function. Here the, my data is given in form of x and y 8, 10, 12, 16. The value of function y is given by this data. Step 1 we have to tabulate Newton forward table x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, y0, y1, y2 and i this minus this is a, we calculate the table then for Newton forward operator we use upper diagonal values tables are same when the difference table come for the backward operator we use this this values for forward further I will show you the backward operator example there this is the use of forward because I want the value at x equal to 9 9 means between 8 and 10. It means it is the near to the beginning. Beginning if values finding near to the beginning, we use the forward operator. Now, there are up to del 4y. So, my formula for fp is f0 plus p del f0 p p minus 1 del square f0 del cube f0 up to because we have del 4 f0 up to value y0 and del f0. Next, we have to calculate the point P. P is, I already given the formula, x minus x0 by h. My x0, first entry is 8. My finding term x equal to 9. So, 9 minus 8 by 2. That is 0 0.5. P is 0 0.5. We have these all values. Del f0, del square f0, del cube f0, del 4 f0. We can find y p or we can say function at point 9. So now next step we have to substitute each and every value in given formula. So we can substitute here p I should write here p equal to 0 0.5. So substitute here first value of this function f0 is y0 thousand plus 0 0.5 f0 del f0 is 900 plus 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 1 by 2 factorial 2 is del square is 450 plus this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 1 0 0.5 minus 2 divided by factorial 3 times del 3. Del 3 is 350. Next is for there we can substitute here plus 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 1 5 minus 2 0 0.5 minus 3 divided by factorial 4 means 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. Factorial 4 into del 4 is 250. Everything is finished. We have to just simplify it and calculate it. When we can calculate our function at P point is given by 1405.8594 at x equal to 9. Very simple. Interpolation is very easy if you know, construct the table in properly and then use for forward, upper entries, for backward, lower entries. Substitute finding the point P when P is x minus x0 by h. Interval is fixed. H is 2 here. First value x0 is 8. So 9 minus 8 by 2. Substitute everywhere the p and the value of given function. Then we can calculate our result at x is equal to 9 will be there. So that's use of Newton forward difference operator formula. We will go further for use of Newton backward different formula. How to find out the values at nearby the ending of the table. 
in my next part. That's all for today. Thank you very much.